I'm a rustrician and Jay Talley's hired me to wire his unrateable self-sufficient temple. It contained everything a solo would need for survival. It had 24 auto turrets, automated industrial, and a farm. You should check out Jay Telly's video if you would like to see what he did with this space. An e core is a device that efficiently routes power to your base and your batteries. The batteries will only kick on whenever your power generation does not meet demand, i.e. array. So for the knee core, we will be using two electrical branches, two OR switches, one blocker, one splitter, and one memory cell. Our battery configuration will be using three root combiners, three splitters, and four large batteries. This should give us a 400 rust watt power budget on this knee core. A knee core leverages the fact that a battery can be charged and discharged at the same time during a game tick. Whenever power generation is greater than or equal to power demand, we route some of the generated power to pay for our circuits. The rest of the generated power goes to the batteries. This will be the state of the knee core 85% of the time, so your batteries will get charged to 100%. Whenever power generation is less than power demand, then we are going to route all the incoming power to our batteries and let the batteries pay for our power demand with a slow discharge rate. The primary benefits of a knee core is power efficiency, due to the 20% electrical tax that batteries give you, as well as giving power multiple ways to pay for circuits. If raiders blow up batteries, the turbines will pay for most of our circuits if layered properly. If raiders blow up the turbines, the batteries will pay for all of your circuits for at least 4 hours if the batteries are given the chance to fill up. You can add more time with battery backup systems. I used a scuff version of Extreme Speed's version 2 modular sorting system, who by the way is one of the nicest guys in the Rustrician Discord server. You should check his channel out, he is THE industrial guy. The way his sorting system works is by divvying loot up into tiers to make the pattern easily repeatable. Every chest has its own independent conveyor that sorts certain items into its destination box. The boxes are tied back into their input so those chests can be used to sort amongst themselves in the tier but also be accessible by further tiers down the industrial network. This makes every box a potential drop box as long as the destination box has room for that item. This did lead to multiple boxes for the same items shifting items between them, but the version 2 of this schematic addresses this issue by adding exit conveyors to them to trap the items in those boxes. This is pretty much the peak of industrial sorting technology. I don't see another design overtaking this one unless there are major game mechanic changes that shift the industrial meta, like which happened between the ore blocker and knee core with batteries being changed. Good job Extreme Speed. If you want to see a build tutorial on the system, you should check out his video he has done on it, since it will explain it better than I ever could. Okay, next we've got a great track about teaching women to listen.
Feel Good Inc. is the track from the Gorillas. Non-stop pop is about doing whatever feels good. And if you're having a good time, then you won't feel bad about it. Eat whatever you want. Drink whatever you want. Relax. Seriously. <laughs> We use the good old faithful 9-banger e-furnace array. It uses 10 storage adapters, 9 electrical furnaces, 4 splitters, 2 conveyors, 1 blocker, 1 electrical branch, 1 AND switch, and 1 large box. Since we don't sort ore into our open core, it just sits there which lets us pull the ore into the smelting room and have the electrical furnaces smelt all the ore and then send the cooked resources into the open core. This design does include the ability to cut the power to the furnaces when no ore is being smelted for aesthetics, but it wasn't really seen in this base since we tucked it into a bait TC room so ragers would follow the pipes thinking it was an auto TC upkeep circuit. Okay, so when he goes for farming, I'm not a T guy Tom. I know that you need to pump and store water, but not the best way to go about it. Luckily, J Telly's was loaded, so we brute forced the problem. It's better to have it and not need it than vice versa. To begin, J Telly's built 28 large planter boxes around the base. 20 in a ring on the third floor of the temple, and the remaining eight were on the fourth floor. We used 12 sprinklers and ceiling lights for light and water delivery to our plants. For the water calculations, we figured we could do four water barrels which would be fed by their own independent water pump and desalinator. We separated the water production and storage into two different areas. We called the area at the top of the temple the hydration station since it contained the water for us to drink as well as the water for our plants, and the desalinators and water pumps were in the sanitation station down by the shore. To make sure we weren't running through the water quicker than we needed it, I set up a variable adjustable timer that allowed me to run the sprinklers for 45 seconds and then have them stay off for 3 minutes. Our calculations were off because most boxes hovered around 7 to 9k ml instead of the 6k mark. But hey, it worked. We were able to grow berries, then turn berries into tea, and that's all that really matters in the end. Get a record deal. 
Initially, the base had 12 turrets, which is the new limit on official vanilla servers. Originally, JTELS had 8 turrets, and I upgraded it to 12. We really wanted some internal turrets, and we could have removed some from outside, but I decided it would be better if we put 12 turrets inside and 12 turrets outside. So I built my patent and trademark pending 24 turret flip-flop system. The system requires 35 electrical branches, 29 blockers, 24 auto turrets, two timers, two switches, two RF broadcasters, one RF receiver, one ZOR switch, and one memory cell. The system works by utilizing turret arrays and their has target functionality. We wire all 12 turrets to be powered together and read all of their has target connections into one output. This is our turret array. We then build a timer system that flips power between two outputs. Each of these outputs are then wired to their respective turret array. Turret array A will be on for 3 seconds, then will turn off, and turret array B will be on for 3 seconds. This repeats until a target within the powered array detects a target. This will halt the timers and allow the turrets to stay on until the target has been eliminated or out of line of sight. This allowed us to put 12 turrets outside defending the base and then put 12 turrets inside defending our inner core. And due to the 3 second limit on the turrets, a lot of unauthed people couldn't tell that the turrets were on, getting themselves killed. And I poke like I'm supposed to Take this photo if you for me She said, don't you ever show this I'm too loyal and too focused To be losing and be hopeless When I spoke this, she rejoiced it Said your words give me open So I closed it when your clothes is I'm only loving for the moment mean, But she's not alone Miss Independent Yeah, she got her own Hey, gorgeous, um, I mean flawless Well, that's what you are How I see it is how I call it And that is pretty much all the noteworthy circuits in the JTelly's temple. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. I will have the schematics linked below. Consider dropping a like while you're down there. And if you want deeper insight into how these and other circuits work, I plan on doing better edited tutorials on electrical circuits as well as possible circuit reviews for subscribers. Join my Discord for updates. 
Also, I would like to thank Jay Tellies and Lonek for helping me out with this video. And I also have a very special shout out that I like to do from time to time where I shout out smaller YouTubers. So huge shout out to Gup. Thank you for watching and have a good one.